Welcome to Hip Hop History with the Hip Hop Doc. Don't forget to subscribe. Also, check him out on Facebook and Instagram. His new book, Son of the Ghetto, can be purchased on Amazon right now. Like, share, and hit that notification bell for more videos. Thank you for watching. Sit back, relax, and enjoy. You have been listening to Hip Hop History with the Hip Hop Doc. Don't forget to subscribe. Grace and peace. A certain sound and a certain movement to that sound. This goes back to the plena. Goes back to the bomba. Goes back to danza. I'm saying, go back to palenque. Go back to all all these Latin. Afro-Latin, Afro-Caribbean movements. I was able to bring a sensibility of not just the known break beats, but also Latin records that spoke volumes to the same sort of ethos that the break beats had. But then you had the Mambo era, like I said before, the whole Afro-Latin jazz fusion. Uh, which predates a lot of the funk. The Afro-Caribbean, the Afro-Latin sound, the clave, the cowbell, the dacascana, which is the sound of the bimbabe. There's no way you could be brought up in those five boroughs walk in the 70s, 60s and 70s, walk around the street and not, and not run into somebody playing congas in the street. Latinos, primarily Puerto Ricans, have always played a major role in hip-hop culture unequivocally since day one. Puerto Ricans are not guests in the house of anybody. Certainly not in the house of hip hop. We were there from the beginning. We helped develop it. We formulated it in some cases.